Estonia, and I was driving up earlier, got here a little bit earlier, and we at, uh, stopped at a area senior daycare center. Uh, you guys call it uh, Potawatomi Casino? <laughs> Good Lord, there was old people there, man. I thought they were filming Cocoon 3, you know? <laughs> I was walking around, I saw this old guy, he had a really cool shirt on, not as cool as mine, but very cool indeed. And I said to him, I was like, old lady. And he looked at me and he hit me with his cane, he's like, former Marine, you fat sissy! <laughs> Semper Fi, Grandpa, God bless ya. I love to gamble, I do. My favorite is Texas Hold'em. Yeah, I was in bed with my wife the other night playing Texas Hold'em. I'm like, I'm all in. She goes, God, I hope you're bluffing. <laughs> A little weird joke there, folks. Yeah. I love my wife. She's got like a hundred of them. She's great, man. She's worried about me, though, because uh, I'm getting older, too. Uh, she's trying to get me to lose some weight. I gained a little weight over the winter, like seven winters ago. She started me on this thing. She calls it an incentive diet. She told me if I didn't start losing some weight, no more romance. And I was like, hold on. How much do I have to gain before you quit talking to me all together? All right, I didn't say that out loud. I've been married 34 years. I don't talk that way to my wife. I think it, but I don't say it, you know? I'm like, Mike, if she only knew how funny you are, son of a gun. And it is, it's tough to lose weight, man. It is. I wish I could lose weight like I lose hair. Wouldn't that be great? Get out of the shower, see a handful of ass instead of a handful of hair? Well, that is gonna clog the drain for sure. Get the snake, honey! And I don't get it, man. As I'm getting older, I'm losing it up here, but I'm gaining it every place. I don't need it, and I don't want it. I got it coming out my ears. I got it coming out my nose. I, I look in the mirror in the morning. I'm like, I have turned into a chia pet. <laughs> m -m 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 Mikey. The other day, my wife is looking at me. She's staring at me, and she's like, your eyebrows. Trim your eyebrows. You look like the chef from the Muppets for crying out loud. I thought about it. I'm like, I'm not trimming them. Makes me think I still got bangs, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I hang my head out the window when I'm driving. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, we got kids. We got kids from our three, four years. Yeah, they're not kids. They're adults. They're grown. They are actually pretty totally useless now. <laughs> it used to be a tax write-off, they're not even that now. And they all took off just before the big pandemic struck, just before COVID, like they, they knew there was gonna be a, a chance that we all might get stuck together for a long time. And they took off and they left just me and my wife there alone. And we probably haven't talked in 30 some years. It was weird, boy, it was weird. The whole COVID thing, and it's just like, even when we were, getting romantic and stuff, she made me wear a mask. But it was a Jeff Bridges mask, so. <laughs> I'm like, the dude the buds. <laughs> crazy, crazy. But the kids, man, the only good thing that happened during the whole pandemic was that uh, my daughters broke up with their dumbass boyfriends. And uh, I'm a dad, and I'm a very protective dad. I got beautiful daughters, man, and I never liked any of these guys. My youngest daughter, she was dating this guy she knew from high school. She went to prom with this guy. And I never liked the boy. When he was taking her to prom, I was standing by the door with a beer in my hand. My wife said, you be nice. You be nice, the baby's going to prom. And I had had a few beers. When he walked in, I'm like, come on, let's take a picture together. <laughs> I put my arm around him, and just before my wife took the picture, I whispered to him, I just want to show the police what you look like before you disappeared. <laughs> it was a Kodak moment. <laughs> my oldest daughter, she went to Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. She's doing great, yeah, she's got a couple billboards up here in Milwaukee for a bank, and she's doing really good. She's She's got a thing for Culver's, and man, we're so proud of her. But when she was in school at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, she met a guy there. First time I met this guy, man, it was just before the COVID hit. You know, we were in the backyard. I was grilling, you know, and the kids were coming over. I'm drinking beer, that beautiful night. Remember that one we had a couple years ago? It was beautiful. <laughs> I'm drinking beer, and I'm like, oh, thank you, God. The kids are coming over. And I see this guy come walking around the corner of my garage. I see him for the first time, he's got all kinds of jewelry in his face. 
And I looked at him, and I had had a few beers. I said the first thing that popped in my head, I was like, tackle box accident? <laughs> I thought he took a header in the boat, you know? You gotta be careful there, Skippy.